Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion playing Trials. Thanks for all the support on the Trials series so far. We're gonna do a few more episodes. I don't know how many. Let's say at least a couple before I move on to something else. Uh, and I did play a little bit on a stream that I did earlier this week. What that means is that I've actually unlocked the next level. Hurdles from heck. I was hoping for maybe a, a, a wider swath of skill games and not just one. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll try to make it work here and then we'll do some more contracts and, and continue to advance in the world of Trials. And at least I would feel loath to uh, leave the series without at least experiencing some of the hard levels, you know? We're still in the mediums here. So it's very simple. This one, I guess. You're oh, jeez! That actually scared me, which is hilarious. Um, we have to... Is it, I didn't expect to explode at a Trials game. Um, we need to get over each one of these barrels. If our wheel touches the barrels at all, we explode. What that means... It's like high jump, right? So we want, oh geez, probably to not tackle them like this. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> I actually feel like I should stop breaking in between each one and instead do something like that. Try to keep like maximum pace whenever possible. When impossible, sure. You do something like that, roll them back. Okay, I, I'm, you know, not gonna say this is exactly my Kia Forte, but we're trying. Silver, maybe? Closing in on the silver. I don't know if I can get the rhythm uh, easily enough to, to get to a gold here, but we've at least been making some good progress thus far. Oh, that was way too close. Oh, that's no chance. Okay, don't even, I don't even want to see the aftermath there. I want it to maintain its family-friendly image in a game where our motorcyclist gets eviscerated. Anyway, I wanted to say about Trials, you know. I feel like there's a lot of cynicism. Well, there's a bit of cynicism surrounding Trials Rising. And uh, for once, I'm not going to take the enlightened, uh, centrist approach that uh, if anybody's upset about anything, the people who are upset are wrong. I actually think that there's a, a decent reason to be cynical about Trials, but I also will say, uh, smart idea. I think Trials Rising, oh jeez Louise, is, is pretty fun. There are some decisions that I think dilute the purity of the Trials experience. I'm having a good time with the game. I wish it was a little bit more pure motorcycle action, a little bit, I mean, a lot of the complaints that I'm bringing up are probably justified as being pretty minor and there, there's a real uh, case to be made there but you know if you rest assured by the way if you don't like trials uh rising i'm not sitting here going like wow you must be an idiot to not like this game i'm like i can totally see how even if you were a trials fan previously maybe there's some stuff in trials rising that strikes you as uh, a little bit suboptimal but I, i'm having a a a decent time and B, the level design is still there. And I'm still eager. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. To see where we're going here. Take it back, boys. Oh, the wheel was way too low. Look, I gotta give this one more try. We were starting to get there. I really think, though, like these early ones, we can definitely get by by slowing down. Or... But yeah, by, by basically stopping between each one. But the later ones, surely we're going to want to keep a little bit more speed because speed equals more height off the ramps, right? Although these ones, we're like barely making it over. I don't like this skill game as much as the other ones because this one actually requires skill. I feel like the basketball one just required like a little bit of practice. This one is more like, you know, what's your pure... Trials IQ, and I'm like, I'd rather not say. Do I have to say? Oop. Okay, dude, this one's pretty freaking high. Oh, that was not even close. Literally, like, front wheel right into it. Alright, I'll, I'll take it. I, I think I can live with a, a Sylvie on that one. We'll start doing some more contracts. So, yeah. I, I mean, I, I do think 
it's rich that I'm like playing it right now while also being like, I don't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, can I unlock Rodeo? No, I need to have a green helmet, whatever the heck that means. Um, beginner, get out of here with that. Uh, what was I going to say? I, I still, I guess I would look at it as a little bit of a, a disappointment while still being good. You know, I'm having a fun time playing it, but it could, it could, uh, I, I mean, I have to admit I'm a little bit underwhelmed as well. It's something to do, it, it's so minor, but the fact that I had, I was trying to open those loot boxes and then the game was like, you can't connect to the server, so I can't let you open those loot boxes. I'm like, dude, why are you locking me out of my own house? I paid for this house, and they're like, yeah, we believe you, but you gotta prove it. Okay. Dude, Solva 256 cannot be defeated. He's the greatest trials player. Oh, never mind. He, he blows. Let's go. I need 30 seconds of airtime and to beat Solva 256. Beating Solva 256 is no problem. 30 seconds of airtime. I'm just going to put my faith that the game designers chose a level that has the capacity to do that without, you know, being super difficult. You know who's very good at trials, by the way? I'm going to give you two answers because I don't want to disrespect anybody. One is Bear Taffy. I knew that he had played trials in the past. And, and more than dabbled. But, oh, no, no, no. I did not know that my man BT was such a Trials enthusiast. That's fine. Um, I was watching him play some Trials on Twitch. He's way better than I am. I don't know how he compares to, like, you know, the greatest players on Earth. Um, but but he's a good Trials player. And I'm also seeing, you know, Bananasaurus Rex out there streaming in. Some good Trials boys that I cannot possibly hope to surpass in this short series, but can at least look up to uh, with some idolatry. Yeah, go ahead. Pick me up. Take me to the vineyard. Turn me into happy juice. Don't talk to me until I've had my Riesling. Contract complete. I want to unlock a new... Uh, I want to unlock this. We got to be level 48. That's not that far away in hindsight. Um, Frozen Fjord. Beat Quarkory. Do front flips, do back flips. Easy money. It also, this might seem a little minor. And again, the last Trials I played, like, religiously was Trials Evolution. I believe in Trials Evolution, it was pretty much just a list of levels you worked down. And, uh, you know, you could, if you beat the level, you could move on. If you didn't beat the level, you know, you might you might have to beat, like, a set number of levels in order to move on. Um, but I, I don't recall playing the same levels over and over to complete contracts like I'm doing in this one. Which I don't even mean as a negative, necessarily. It, it really is just different game design. Um, but I think I prefer just having the option to... I mean, I, I don't mind playing the same levels again and again and again. But of course, you know, given the opportunity, I would rather, especially after I've golded a level, I would rather see a new level than do the same level over again. I'm fine with faulting, uh, as long as we do still continue to pursue our goals of doing front flips and back flips. Oh, it's a freaking snowman! You're telling me you can't hit your head on a snowman and not fall off your bike? I mean, sure, we were rotating at, you know, six meters a second. But still. Don't give me that Isaac Newton nonsense. Just tuck and roll, bud. Okay, three front flips and then beat this ghost that is substantially far behind us. Easy money. That was a front flip. Don't take that front flip away from me. Land it. Land it. Oh. Hold on. We're, uh, that's not good. I do like that at least for some of the contracts, some of the more ridiculous ones, you don't have to fault list them. I mean, this isn't even a ridiculous contract. This, the, the, 
The one in Tomato Town, El Tamat. That was a, a challenging one for sure. I, I knew it was challenging because people were asking me about it on stream later when I was playing the game. They were like, yo, you're doing okay, but did you beat that El Tamat challenge with the 20 flips on it? Yeah, I did. And it only took me six hours. I'll thank you very much for asking. Good news, boys. Got some gear crates. Contract. The Flying Fin. Beat Fire at Will 247. I guess I just don't understand when it became so complicated. When I was a kid back in 2008, Trials comes out, Trials HD on the Xbox Live Arcade. What do you do? You just start levels. And then you pass tests, you get advanced to harder and harder levels. Now there's all these contracts and gears and stickers and loot boxes and two different types of currency. Not even including the hard-earned Canadian dollars I used to purchase the game in the first place. Why am I doing flips? You know why I'm doing flips? Frig you. That's the first thing I'm going to say, like Zach De La Rocha. Secondarily, because it's freaking fun, okay? Show me somebody out there who thinks that just jumping is better than doing a backflip, and I'll show you somebody who's never seen Travis Pastrana's dominance in the X Games, okay? We're gonna lose to Fire at Will 24-7. Very edgy name. You know he's good at driving his motorcycle. Let's try this again. I have a, f a feeling we can do better. He's doing flips too! The only thing is, he's doing flips that are sensible. His flips are helping him go faster. My flips are just slowing me down. I gotta learn about the tactical flips. Work on my Wario Stadiums a little bit as well. Wario Stadium is a term... It should be uh, understandable to you if you played the Mario Kart games. Particularly Mario Kart 64. In that game, Wario Stadium is a level that has some moguls on it. There's two things that separate the greats from the bads in that game. The first one is knowing that there's a, a weird shortcut you can hit depending on the items, god dang it, that you have. Uh, that allows you to essentially finish the entire race in like under 15 seconds if you know how to do it properly. But assuming you're actually like an honorable individual that doesn't want to do that to their friends. Uh, it's all about hopping on the moguls so that you get the peak jump and then land exactly on the down slope. So that you minimize uh, your time spent climbing, because climbing slows you down. Depending on, you know, the, the severity of the slope you're climbing, I guess. Like, fire at will 24-7? They got it figured out. They're crushing me right now. There we go, we Wario Stadium them. You try to Wario Stadium me, I'm gonna Wario Stadium you back. Does he even know, you know, that you're out here being a ghost in your perfectly customized bicycle? Ruining other people's days? Like, you couldn't have just slowed your ghost down a little bit to make everybody else's life slightly easier? Hey, hey, hey. We could have done better there. We should have done better there. Non-stop front flipping for maximum forward momentum. Oh, he fell! I didn't even realize. It's too easy. I don't know what he did wrong, but uh, he, he gave us a big window to crack open. Plus, I like when you don't lose to the ghosts, because then you don't have to hear them mooning over and over. Um, so the, this is the super difficult one, right? Yeah, Siberian leanings I've been having a problem with. Yo, we haven't done this one yet. Oh, we have. We just have a new contract. One of the locals wanted to ride with me. They offered me a handsome reward if I managed to catch up with him. Spend 17 seconds inverted in the air? Seems a little difficult. Hey, did you know that if you identify the fastest route through the track, it'll make a big difference? It turns out if you stop going a suboptimal way and start going the optimal way, uh, you'll go faster. Also, in football, the team that scores more points tends to win. All teams are endeavoring to score as many points as possible and allow the fewest points possible. Don't do this to me, game. 
you're on the PlayStation 4 console, digital edition. It's not like we got disc skipping. Got to put up the overlay for a second. Trials is having some problems. You know, I, Trials, I'm going to bat for you. That's that's what bothers me the most of all, okay? I'm out here, uh, you know, trying to defend Trials Rising. Saying it's bad, but it's not that bad. Well, it, that's not even what I mean. Saying it's it's not a masterpiece, but it's not that bad. And then you get stuff like this happening. And also, they won't let me open my loot boxes when the Uplay servers are down. So I'm just reloading it in the background here. Just let me drive my motorcycle. Time spent not driving the motorcycle is, is time wasted. Also, I should say... It's not like they programmed the bug into the game on purpose. <laughs> I don't understand why. We all, we've known bugs are bad for 30 years. Why do they keep putting them in video games? Also, we're not gonna let the music play too loud because it's content I be matched. I don't know that that's surreal, but I'd rather not risk it. Maybe it's a Skrillex song. Come on. It's, it's loading right now. Here we go. Sewer Wheelie. Go to Contract. Let's do it. If you can do this, kid, you and me will be famous. Four front flips wheelie for 25 meters. I'm willing to give it a try, hombre. On the Bucharest breakdown. You know what country Bucharest is in? Do, 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 do. It's Romania. In case you're curious. All of my criticisms about the game are now uh, rendered... Moot, because that man has a poop with a halo on it, on his head. So you know what? I've decided that uh, all of my criticisms have fallen on deaf ears. Oh, it worked. I was admittedly very concerned. I don't think we can make this. Oh! <laughs> you know what? Tuck and roll, bud. I thought maybe if I threw some extra G's in there, I'd have a better chance. Yo! There's a way out. Hold on. I got, I, I've never thought about taking the Beetle Adventure racing path. I don't know. It might work, but we gotta, we gotta do something like this. And it, this is very dumb, but I gotta see how it goes, dude. Then you roll. Oh, that still counted as a crash. All right, fair enough. Maybe it's just a garbage shoot for me to deposit my corpse. Okay, land it, land it, bud. Then you send them four front flips. There's two of them right there. Probably could have fit all four on that one, but I thought let's be uh, a little conservative in our approach here. All right, that's fair. I mean, we don't even have to win. Hold on. If that hadn't shattered my spine, I would be in the clear. So let's try to get all four front flips on this one. Actually, that was only three? Still. Actually easy. I'm actually just doing badly now. If you give me a moment. So there's a one, two, three. Let me try this again. We there's definitely no need to do this, but at the same time, that also by the transitive property means that there's no need not to do this. So let's just do it. Oh, clip the wheel. That's fine. So don't be a fool. Front flip off this. Okay, we, we were starting with a wheelie there, which is another goal, but uh, still haven't found an opportunity to get the front flip. I was just going to say something tells me there will be many opportunities in the future. Let's, oh, you fool. Let's try to get our wheelie done here. Easy money. All right. So that there was no reason for that to take nearly as long. As uh, I let it. But life goes on. I actually like this style of trials levels. Like the just perfectly flat ones where all you do is, you know, you're basically playing line rider. I like those too. Uh, apparently, I... Okay, here's the thing, dude. This new bike, it's got a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of torque associated with it. So sometimes... 
you know, you just hit the gas. If you're not leaning forward, you're done. Either way, we're, we're just here to complete the contract. That way we can level up. Get to the next skill game. The real meat of the trials experience. Thank you. Thank you. What else is going on here? What do you got for me? Mustachioed mouth. The Thousand Cloud Village. Three backflips and four front flips. I'm realizing I wasn't on the new bike there. And the old bike has the torque as well. Torque is not T-O-R-Q-U-E. Uh, it stands for Trials Over uh, Raging... And then the K can be whatever you want it to be. I was trying to think of a, a motorcycle-related word with a K. I can't think of one except for Carly Davidson, which is not even a real thing. Everybody's got the four honor stuff, dude. Making me look like a like just a Joe Schmo with my my beer helmet here. I would so my uh, I, I grew up slightly in advance of the era of the beer helmet, but I remember my grandparents did have a beer helmets with like the plastic sta uh, straws you can drink out of uh, attached to them. I have a question. If you bring that to a sporting event, you know, I, I'm not decrying the use of uh, adult beverages here, but aren't you just drinking some extremely warm canned beer out of a plastic straw at the end of it? You know, I... The, the canned beer that they're going to sell you at, like, a stadium or a sporting event or something like that, it, part of the sales uh, contract you sign is, please drink this cold so you can't taste what it actually tastes like. I feel like uh, as soon as you, you mount that in the highest part of your body, you know, the one closest to the sun, and then drink it out of a, uh, like, oh, not even a plastic straw, you know, like those weird rubber straws that... Uh, or vinyl or something that they give you the, you ever have a water bottle like that as a kid I had a, I had water bottles like that that had like built-in plastic and rubber straws at the end of the day all you're tasting is the rubber it's just like rubber infused liquid it just seems impractical and what's the point you're doing it all just to just to make sure your hands free I don't even want to bring this up necessarily but if you're trying to brag about the throughput of which you can get adult beverages into your body, I feel like the straw's just holding you back. You know, you need something with a greater uh, circumference or alternatively, just the mouth of the can. Or you could do the shotgun method, you know. You tilt it upside down, you poke a hole in the bottom with your keys, then you mount it and you go and bring it up, you know. You let gravity do the work for you. I guess you probably wouldn't do that in a stadium. Security would, would be a little upset, is my guess. They would probably at least be like, please just drink it like a like a civilized human being and not like you're in a frat house hey this isn't a frat house bud it's a freaking uh, hockey game we came here to see a bunch of 19 year olds get into freaking fist fights all right not to you know debase ourselves with these carnal pleasures you know well this is an easy enough one I am gonna this is not trials fault oh <laughs> But uh, I do need to plug in my dual shock after this. Yo, dude, how's that bloom? That's what I get for playing too much EDF. Please tell me I made up for my previous mistakes and have passed the ghost. I did indeed. All we gotta do is beat him and get some airtime. Airtime is the is the greatest uh, contract objective for me. Because all I do is do the race. Oh, he did pass me. And I hope that there's enough airtime to go around. Otherwise, the joke's on both of us. Please, three seconds. What the? There wasn't enough airtime for me to do it. Like, I understand you can maximize your airtime by, like, really going for peak height on every jump. Which I suppose is something I, I should do. We probably lost some by faulting as well. A 
Let's try this again. So far, so good. So you know the deal. This is where things get a little funky. You make this one, then it's a real climb. Huge. Huge. Good use of the torque. Okay, it's another... This is the dangerous backflip. No! No, please! Two faults on that is just embarrassing. Turns out the, the winning move was to literally do absolutely nothing. Could have gotten more airtime there. I'm hoping we don't need it, though. Enormous. Big plays. You know what? We got to go back. Give him a little bit more juice. It's the same... Almost the exact same problems. Dude, how am I supposed to get more airtime? I gotta, I gotta eke an extra two and a half seconds of airtime out of this son of a gun somehow. And I gotta still beat this guy. I don't know if maybe faultless is the right way to do it. So I'm really just... I, I was trying to lean into every single jump, but... I don't know if that's the right way or the wrong way. That's what I get for bragging about airtime being the easiest contract to overcome. Like, I'm trying to... I'm getting my best to get a little bunny hop out of each one. Make sure I'm going the maximum distance on each jump. That was a pretty good one. But the more time I spend in the air... The slower I am... Well, depending on where your landing site is, I guess. Yeah, this would have been a great one for wheeling, but... That's sadly not the way she goes. So let's just keep up our faultless attempt. I don't know, dude. I'm still trying to, like, eke out the bunny hops, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get there. I feel like we're at, like, almost exactly the same time as our previous ones, and then we kind of screwed that one up a little bit. Please. Okay, take it down. Hit it hard. Like, literally exactly. I, I'm not doing it anymore. Like, I'm not trying to be... Uh, I'm not upset. I'm not offended. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to beat my head against the wall trying to eke out an extra two and a half seconds. Seems like we're far enough away on that one. I don't know. Maybe we want to use a different bike or something like that. Wheelie 20 meters, easy. Beat an enemy ghost, even easier. Couldn't ask for an easier task. I will say, I respect anybody that wears the Fieri shirt. And don't forget about the beer helmet. Don't forget about the, the silk shoes. Gotta work on his workout pants attire, though. You're gonna get the uh, jock itch. Alright, 20 meters of wheeling. Already 5% of the way there. You know what? Just to make things a little trickier, let's throw in some suicidal backflips. God. Genius level strat. Look at this stylish play. If you... Okay. We just... We're bad, but... I can't believe we lived as long as we lived there. Send them. Hey, why don't you give me 30 seconds of airtime on this one? Unlike the last level, you actually spend some time in the sky here. So you, it's a little lesson you got to learn about trials. Never do a backflip if you're trying to get over an obstacle. A backflip, you know, you can just draw the free body diagram for it. It's never going to get you over that obstacle because you you got momentum in the negative direction. You know, the, the negative X uh, direction, I should say, for this situation. A front flip, maybe. It might give you that little bit of extra impulse you need to get over the top. Ah, speaking of which... Overrolled it there. How far ahead is he? Not far enough ahead to get too bent out of shape. Yet? Okay, he's too far ahead. Let's try this again. Let's try this again again. Style points. Look it up, sweetheart. Huge. Huge. Making up a little bit of time there, I think. Oh, that's the ticket. Okay, so we do this is this one is definitely gonna be harder on the wheelie than on the 
than on the other uh, objective, I think. So I, I, I got it. Sick. I, I thought I saw my window there, and I, I felt good taking it. Don't do me like this. Messino 78. No! It's okay. He, I think he fell too, or at least screwed something up. So you're saying... There's a, just don't freak out here. You're saying there's a chance. No! Go slow. Just slow. Oh, he's ahead of me, dude! Something like that. I didn't plug in my dual shock. There's nothing I could do, dude. So I thought maybe, let's give it a little wheelie over the top. Was that a good decision? I actually am still on the fence. I think it might not have been a terrible decision, but I am maybe a second behind. Whether it contributed to me being behind or actually put me ahead a little bit, I don't know. Good, really, really smart idea there. Dude, the contracts are getting a little tougher, okay? I'm not saying I'm the best Trials player on planet Earth. I'm, I'm third best, as mentioned, behind Bear Taffy and Bananasaurus Rex. Definitely, I would probably stop landing with your spine uh, being part of the real estate. But a front flip into a landing is a good way to get a little extra momentum. Like that, I still think, is the right call. Probably could have gone a little smaller on the jump. But it's just so tempting. Like, why? The expression is called go big or go home. It's not called, you know, hey, jump small. It'll be safer that way. I am completely falling apart. This hasn't been my, my best episode of uh, Trials from a performative standpoint. I think that's fair to mention. So you send them big on this one. Then you go small on this one. You just barely eek over the barrel. Get a little bounce there, which is not what I want. Then if we could just go a little smaller on that one, we'd be better off. But it'll work for now. This is Wheelie Town. So we get up here. Land it. Light gas. Didn't get the full wheelie. That's perfectly fine. We could probably just get an ambient five meters of wheelie time. Accidentally. All we gotta do is stay ahead of this guy. Good. Actually so much better than the way I did it last time. Not quite at Wheelie Town yet. No! We've done it. Now just gun it, dude. You can make it. Sorry, there were some scary moments in there. I had to I had to institute a little bit of Tetris style radio silence. And yet we've done it. Missed the bullseye though. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did click the like button, helps out a great deal. There'll be a little bit more trials, probably not too much more, but for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Really appreciate it as we endeavor to add more variety to the channel, and I will see you next time. See you! I mean, I'm trying to turn off the video. See ya!